Port Harcourt is uh, a place where Port Harcourt is accommodating. One thing I like about Port Harcourt, Port Harcourt is peaceful, Port Harcourt is productive. Um, Port Harcourt uh, business can actually grow in Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt is good for investors. You, know, you can come in Port Harcourt and invest. And um, it's actually a place uh, for tourism. Yeah. It actually made me fall in love with the city. So thank you very much, Rafa. Because I don't to enjoy Port Harcourt City and forget Nagari City, man. Because, ah, uh, wow. Um, I like, I like the environment. It's lively, movement, you know. Um, things are kind of somehow expensive, though. But maybe it's because of the reception. But I know by God's grace, everything is going to be nice. Um, the friends, they are really wow. Like they are really nice. But at some times, man, they will just push you off the edge. It's a little bit, but. We can we can cope with that. Uh, Potako to me, I've been um, around for a while. So Potako for me, I like the like the vicinity. Potako is very busy. I like the socialness about the youth. You can see, it, like if it's there's a festival, there are many people around, and it's a very big busy hub. Like apart from Lagos, the next place you can take about rivers on Potako. Yeah. I like there are many malls here. Yeah. We have the every day. We have Market Square too, so that's a nice place to be around. Uh, the road, the new flyovers they are doing now. I think it's a cool project. Yeah, and another thing I like the politics around here. You know, and the banter. And Do you the, want to be a politician? No, yeah, yeah, a little, but well, not now. Like, okay. I maybe when I get a little bit older. Um, I like the environment actually. And like there are many leisure places like educational places uh, where you go and have fun and this kind of thing. Okay, um Potakot is good based on employment opportunity. First, I like the weather. Like um what Potakot weather compared to generally how Nigerian uh, weather like weather is, weather is. It has a good weather. The, the fact that there's always water, whether it's dry season or rainy season, because I've been to places that there are no water. Okay, so uh, that's one. Structure-wise, at least you, you, you go to places that at least the structure is appealing. That's the third one. Then guys, you can still um, have fun here oh, to an extent. Um, I think there, is, there are one or two parts that you go in Potakot and you enjoy yourself. Potakot is a nice place. We have schools, we have university, polytechnic, and we have a lot of people in Potakot. Things are going well. There are other things, many things like um, shopping mall. Like now, we are in everyday supermarkets. There are so many things here. You can make yourself comfortable, eat free, um, so and so forth. So, Potakot is a nice place. Potakot is a very nice place. It's a place. It's a place of business. It's a place where you stay happy, and it's also good for trading. One Potakot is a very serene environment. It's a nice place. Have fun. It's rough though. It's rough, but we have. You can have fun. Potakot. That's it. And also, the, the environment is clean. There are many universities in Potakot and other stuff. Oh yeah, the crew, the crew is a nice place to be. Here is fun, here things are good. Here is a place of tourists and they have a good system of education. Wow. Okay, I want you to tell us like five things are there about that you like about Patakot. Electricity, mm -hmm. good roads, okay. flyover, right. and adequate and enabled education. Wow, that's nice. So you're getting a very nice education like this. Yes. All right, thank you very much. Okay. First of all, I like the parties around this environment, like the city. The parties are very lit. Then they have nice endowed ladies, actually, very much. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they have good roads, nice infrastructure and the rest. Yeah. Nice. Even me, I want to be a Peter Kwa. Uh, it's Peter Kwa, Peter Kwa, right? And one of the nice federal universities around okay, South South. Yeah. Uni Peter Kwa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, I like Peter Kwa. Peter Kwa, right? Um, probably called Peter Kwa. I like Peter Kwa. Um, in the aspects of infrastructure, okay. projects, and many more. Um, especially the aspect of how, how groovy it is. Yeah, if the groovy yeah. environment and yeah. it's not as boring as some other cities. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And they have good lights, good roads.
Firstly, but I can have pity for people. People that when you come, you see them, they're very receptive, they're very welcoming, and they give you some African homemade dishes. African, like I told you. The truth is not everybody have all the dishes that they want, but when you eat our local bole and fish, you know what I mean. Bole and fish, it was actually my best when I came into the city at first. I will, I will tell you, go test it out. Yes, I did actually, it was nice. Now, the second thing is that but I gotta have a beautiful places that you can hang out. Yeah. Nice hangouts. If you look around the city, the city is actually having good places where people can actually ease out themselves after all the stress and buzzes of the city. You know, if you look good to the barrow, you'll see that the government has actually tried to put up a pleasure park where people, families can easily go hang out and have a nice time. Now the good thought thing I want to tell you about Protocol is that Protocol is also having a beautiful night life. You can actually stroll out in the night without being harassed. You go have fun in the night as you get back to your home. You know, Protocol is, has this cool, serene night life. You can actually see too that the government has actually put lights on the highways, which means when you're driving in the night, you also have some, you could see some distance, which gives that kind of some confidence and that kind of some security for you to actually look out and have that confidence to drive at the back at the night time. Thirdly, you can see that you have federal presence. Around you, you can see you have some federal universities around you. For instance, you have the Federal University of Connecticut, which actually brings a lot of people to come here to start looking for school, to start looking for how they can get into the institution and get the vibe of what they actually do. And fifthly, you have a good road network. If you look now, the government is actually trying to put some head bridges here and there to make traffic much, much easier, easy to go, and have to make people to get at their destinations in what, than what it was previously. Head traffic used to be a bottleneck down here. But with the highway, with the bridges that the government is building, babe, I tell you, there's no other city like Patakot. There is no other city like Patakot. Mm, I think I like the girls. We have cute girls in Potaka and Aron's girls and the governor. He's not so good, 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 but he's an Aburo like us. So. <laughs> no, that's nice. What's his name? Uh, yes, so Ebu Betike. Ebu Betike. Yeah, and like Bonaboy. Bonaboy, like yeah. we have Yeah, Bonaboy, then this is from Opopo, he's like one of the best, greatest musicians. But now, but I think his pride is actually cool as a potato boy. Then we'll have project that we can uh, which is actually cool. And then the clubs, the boss is one of the I like clubs too. Uh, yeah, like, but it's fucking expensive. Ooh, okay. So there's all the five things I like about potato. Alright, thank you. So you can actually from him get the vibes about Patakot City. So you can actually uh, poor boys are like the coolest boys. Uni Pops, I actually wanted to hear that. The, uh, the coolest boys man. Coolest yeah. boys. Are you a student? Yeah final year. Yeah, final year today well, well, congrats. Patakot is, is a nice place to stay. I've been to many different places. Lagos, China, wow. London, Ukraine, wow. Italy, US and all that. But actually I still love Patakot. They say where you don't phone and I see your place. I still love Patakot. I but love Potakot like this. You went to China and you like Potakot. I still like I love Potakot. Like oh no, that's so nice. I still like Potakot. We love Potakot. If he has been to China, we love Potakot. Like so thank Okay, um, I think first things first, what I really like about Potakot is the transportation system. Even if at times you can get a little bit crazy and stuff, but I think it's okay. And uh, secondly, I like the fact that development is really moving on very fast because I feel with the new construction of the bridges there will be much ease for transportation and business will thrive and stuff like that I think thirdly what I like is the music <laughs> the music actually um, I see different upcoming talents yeah in the music industry and I think Omale. Yeah, 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 yeah. He does really great songs. Yeah, so uh, yes, the music. Um what the um when I say the people they have the sense of um empathy, not necessarily empathy, like um this strong 
survive. It's more like if you put them anywhere, they can't survive. Yeah, so I would say, yeah, hustlers. the people, yeah. Would I say hustlers? Survivors. Yeah, survivors is the word. <laughs> okay, then I think number five should be. Um, The entertainment. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah, the entertainment sector in Port Harcourt. I know it's still developing though, but um, I think over time the improvement um, to see how far they've come, like there's a really huge difference and it's showing that there's a promising future for the music uh, entertainment industry in Port Harcourt. So. No, Port Harcourt is summer mix, you know. We have people comes around from different parts of Nigeria and mix up to the road network. Three, the the mix of association is very very easy. The fourth one is you can you can be you can be you can stay in Port Harcourt and be comfortable. You know you can stay in Port Harcourt and assess every other this thing, every, every other anything you want to assess is very very okay. The fifth one is for now, but I've got this groovy. There is no, it's groovy. There is nothing like this, that, all those running, security, all those things are over. Like you can see, as you are in this job now, look at every day, people are entering, people are going out without any stress. So all those things, if I ever want to talk, I can be talking, talking, talking. Um, well, but I could, as you see, I'm a but I could boy. Boot TV, but I could carry, I'm one number one. Um, I see the school too, also in the ports. That was number two. Then the roads and I think that's that's what I have to say. Are you a student? Yeah. So you're from Uniport, the popular Uniport? Yes, Uniport. How's the school vibe? Come on. The fact will get us to be, but we go away. Um, number one thing I love in Patakot is the way they behave and the way they do their things. I like the top court. I like the school because they used to attend well and they used to teach well, very well. And um, I like um, some, some of the hotel they keep here, like Kimanjaro. It's very fine. I like the inside. The way they take people inside, I like it. Um, the next one I like is the street, the way boys are doing the street, the way they are... You the way, like the street? The way so the street life in Potako is actually sweet? Yes, it's very sweet and some other things. And the one I like to give you is all these agro boys. <laughs> they used to look, they used to attend people well. Oh, wow. They don't used to do like all those other people. Oh, wow. yes. Well, Portacourt is a fine city. Um, their school is okay. It's a, it's a city that you come, you progress, you hustle for yourself. Um, life is somehow rich here. You know, it's a big man city. So it's only people that has money that mingles here. So you, you have money like this? I will come and mingle with you. So thank you very much. I like Potagod. For once, when I was in the village, they told me about Potagod and how things move in Potagod. So I have to visit the Potagod. When I came here, when I finished my school, I start my work, POS work I'm doing. And I love the work. I love the work, right, right? I love the work. Secondly, my mother is a seller. We sell. I do go to market and sell. I, I love that. I make money. I don't wait for the money to come, but I do go for the money. Then the third thing I like this Potter God is like the Potter God, the, the street I'm staying, everything is calm, no unrobbing, no kidnapping, nothing like that at all. I love it very well and I like staying here for some times. For some years now, I didn't go back to my village and I'm aware of my